What is going on guys? I'm so excited to bring you my first Madden 22 tip. Madden 22 is finally here. Thank you so much for your support on the channel. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We have a ton of Madden 22 content coming over the course of the next 48 hours. We are going to get you all ready to go with this brand new game. This game is a lot of fun. I'm going to tell you right off the jump. It's a little bit different than last year, but it's actually there's a lot of similarities that have carried over. So I'm really excited to break this down for you. Again, if you're new, be sure to subscribe. I also want to let you know a way that you can get free off Offensive and defensive guides sent to you every single week with my text message membership. They're full offensive schemes, full defensive schemes, like the trips tight in or the bunch or the spread or the uh, 335 or 335 wide. All you have to do to sign up for that, you're going to get the full scheme completely for free. Text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. That's my cell phone number. Again, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you the playlist for Madden 21, uh, and then I'm also going to start adding content into that playlist for Madden 22. So that's what I want you to do. So again, if you want to get that text message membership playlist, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Now in this video, I want to share with you um, some of the best things that I've found so far that work in Madden uh, in Madden 22 Next Gen. Um, and the reason why I want to share with this uh, with you really quickly here is what you're going to see is uh, I've got kind of the 335 meta up here and we're going to be going over different coverages but the play that I want to go over first and foremost with you is PA counter go the reason why is because this is different than it was on Madden 21 next gen on Madden 22 next gen so I'm on the PlayStation 5 you really want to be running this play there's a, several reasons as to why but I just can't wait to show this to you so all we're going to do here is we're just going to kind of create a meta Mabel coverage as you can see I've kind of got my, my coverage set up here and all we're going to do and this is the most important thing in my opinion in next gen Madden 22 you want to make sure that you have really good spacing if you can properly space your routes this is going to be really really important uh, okay so I want to show you just real quickly here uh, what's gonna happen so we're gonna streak the X receiver and for whatever reason the stupid momentum thing is messing up everything but we're gonna streak the tight end this is what the play looks like so that's what we want and we're just gonna put an option route to the running back just like this now if you don't like the option route my favorite route in Madden right now is the table route so you can put that out there as well um, but anyway option route or table route and I just want to show you the spacing that you're going to get on this this table route is really a great read it's a really good little quick throw um, but the main route that I want to show you right off the bat in terms of Madden 22 I think it's going to be the best route in the game this year is the table route but also this crosser to the circle receiver this is different than the way it worked in Madden 21 so watch how he runs just basically like a straight line has one cut and absolutely lasers every single defense that crossing route's going to get over the top of every zone drop in the game it's going to get over top of every single coverage in the game and you're going to have a lot of success this year with it so if you're a trips tight end guy and you like the pa counter go play i think this right now at least in my opinion is the best play in the game because that crossing route is literally unstoppable they have to go it with to it with their user and then the smart route a dig route is super good as a check down so what you're going to get a lot of this year this is just my personal opinion as far as how p how the meta is going to unfold is your i actually believe you're going to still see some of this 335 wide meta mabel coverage and if you see that where they're dropping a lot of people in zones and doing all that i just really want to emphasize the power of this um of this uh in route you see the dig route right there getting a great separation and getting in the open field now i want to share with you another little setup that you can actually do out of this that is a very effective one it's a little bit more check downish in terms of the fact that it's a little bit more of a check down type of play but it's actually a lot of fun and it's really effective so what we're going to do is we're going to streak the x receiver we're then going to take the uh triangle receiver we're going to put him on a hitch or a curl and then we're going to take the square receiver and we're going to put him on a smart routed out route. These smart routed out routes this year are really, really good as long as you have some type of underneath pattern. You take a look at this hitch and right there that, that had that vertical hook there. I'm not sure what happened on the coverage, but um, they were able to get the play, able to stop me. But again, I just want to show this one more time. So again, I'm just going to run the meta Mabel coverage. Just kind of the, I actually think Mabel is still going to be very good this year. But even if it's, even if it's not, you know, you're going to still be fine. So Anyways, you do something like this uh, concept right here. And I want you to watch this left side. You're going to see this out route to the left side uh, really is a interesting. It kind of got bumped off that jam. If out routes get pressed this year, they're not super great. Um, they're okay. But 
the other thing that you could do, and this is something that we've done for years in Madden, like re- literally years uh, in Madden, is something as simple as dropping the uh, curl and the little five yard out. So something that looks just like that on the left side, snap the ball. You're going to see here that this curl is going to go. And one of those two are going to get open. One of my favorite routes is that route bounce off that triangle or that square receiver. So that's something just to look out for. But again, you can kind of work those two combinations. Now, what I will say you will actually find this year that's probably a little bit more, maybe not as expected, is the yellow zone, um, in my opinion, plays pretty good. It actually does pretty good this year. It hasn't done great in years past. But if you watch, it does get really good depth. Um, It's a little bit different than it's been, for, like I said, for years. But as you see here, this crosser is so daggone good. Now, I wanted to spend just a few minutes talking about match coverage this year. Um, This is a great setup for the cover four quarters. I think if you haven't seen cover four quarters yet, you're going to see it in Madden 22. Um, But this is my base setup. This is probably my favorite way to run this play. And if you watch this crosser against match, you're going to see that he's going to absolutely roast the match coverage. And he's going to get over the top of the match coverage every single time. So you see here that we really have a lot of, you know, in my opinion, a lot of really good options, a little really, really good concepts. Another little trick that you can use is you can actually um, go ahead and hit that running back option route as well. So let me jump into match coverage real quick. And I just want to show you this option route. You're going to see that he's going to cut out, and that out cut is so good against man. It's so good. If they run man coverage or match coverage, tr- please, please, please throw the out route. Now, the last coverage I wanted to hit on uh, real quick in this video is I wanted to... Actually, I'll hit on man in just a second, but I want to hit on cover two. So as you see here, this is like the base setup if you don't have Hot Rod Master. And what you'll see about cover two that you'll actually, I think you'll like, again, look how open that crosser gets. It's getting over the top of that cloud really easily and really smooth uh, against cover two. Now, if they run man-to-man coverage, um, if they run man-to-man coverage... You're going to see here that this option route, Watch that. Watch, look at how much separation he gets against Levante David, probably the best cover linebacker in regs. Um, Giovanni Bernard is getting wide open separation every single time against that. This in route is another one of my favorite routes. If you're struggling to beat man, throw the in route. The in route is your friend. It's a really, really good route against man-to-man covers this year. One last little pro tip that you can do with this is you can motion this guy across and put him on a drag. The only reason you might want to do that is if you wanted to kind of work some of those shallow crossing principles. You see that drag does such a good job of getting separation, really gets underneath a lot of the zones. Now guys, I am going live. I'm probably live right now as you're watching this video. So please, I'm gonna put a link to the stream in the description and please come over and check out the stream. We've got content coming for you all night and we're gonna have a ton of content tomorrow as well, including the first release of my offensive and defensive eBooks for the Madden 22 season. Thanks for watching this video, and if you want to come check out the stream, it's in the description. If you uh, want to get my free offenses and defenses sent to your cell phone every week, text the word MADDEN to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you guys in a sec.